Hey everyone, Dave here. I just wanted to share with you some of my most used gestures when using an iPad and I think these are really important for you to show your students in your classroom. These are the essential ones to, to help everyone get started with the iPad I suppose. So let's see how to get notifications for example. Just touching the top of your iPad and flicking down it reveals the iPad notification center uh, which is quite good. You can then uh, click on any of those and you know for example it will then take you to that notification and so on. One other feature I see is people scrolling through their iPad and looking for a particular app or something on their iPad just by flicking from the middle of your screen down will bring up the spotlight. Uh, you can then uh, search for whatever app or look at the series suggestions here. So for example, if I was looking for bird blocks, I can then click and open that and so on. That works on any of your screens and uh, that's by grabbing in the roughly in the middle of the screen and then flicking down. So that's called the spotlight. Uh, that's a really cool feature or the search tool. Great way of finding apps or items on your iPad that you're looking for. Okay, another gesture that I think is really important is if you're flicking from the bottom of your screen like so, it then looks at the app switcher and it goes through all the apps that you've got open on your iPad. You can then choose the ones or flick off ones that you've got open, okay? So if you've got an app that's behaving poorly or it's slow or your iPad's not functioning well, it's a good idea to go through and close some of these apps and so on. So that's how you get to that. That's called the app switcher and you get that by flicking uh, from the bottom of your screen up and you can either select or close those apps down if, you, if need be. Okay, so let's have a look at some other gestures that you might use on your iPad. So these ones work across uh, multiple apps. Uh, so for example, if I'm just in Keynote and I want to make things bigger, okay, by opening up a pinch like so, you can then uh, make things bigger. And then obviously the reverse by pinching inwards makes things smaller. If you're uh, wanting to close an app down, you can just grab your hand and pinch like so. So it's a pinch like that, a whole hand pinch uh, will close an app down. Okay, so there's some gestures to get you started. There are hundreds more types of gestures that you can use on an iPad. A browse of the internet will no doubt you'll be able to find many more, but there's some good ones to get you started in your classroom. Thanks.